So the turtles nest in here. What, what the a female does is she lays four clutches of eggs at different spots just in case predators come. And I guess she said, well, there's no more space here. I'm going to lay here. So she laid here and we found a little hole and three baby <coughs> turtles were dead because the students are stepping on them because they don't know they're there. So why do you want to help save the turtles? Why did we? Well, because they need to be safe. They endangered. deserve to be safe. Have they have the same them. right to live in this area that they lived here first, Stop as we do to like go to school here. Plus, they're an endangered species. Brianna is like plus they're. I'm talking too much. Yeah, I know she does. <laughs> that fact has already been established. Um, but but so this idea is to to naturalize the creek again so that you know we can encourage more uh, native species to come in we can have a, a space for kids to actually experience what would naturally be on their school ground as opposed to a little more concrete and turf we uh, find a school ground very sterile all of them no matter where we go you look at all the schools in the district you guys agree with that they're very sterile. There's a lot of concrete pads, pavement, no trees in a sports field. And we would like to bring nature into school where the birds will come back. And, and for us, the turtles that are in, on the endangered species list has a special concern. So this is why we're doing this project. So A local biologist helped determine where to release the turtles. In front of a crowd of supporting KLO students, Nicolette and Jennifer released them back into Fashion Creek. Our goal had been realized. After a month of taking care of the turtles, we increased their chance of survival by directly placing them into Fascia Creek. 